Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Exchange Admin Center, Microsoft Web Based Management Console for administering Exchange Online. And in this current video, we will explore its up interface and functionalities to help you to manage your organization's email service efficiently. So let's switch to the admin.exchange.microsoft.com and once you type that link and to begin exploring the Exchange Admin Center, you need to log in to the admin.microsoft.com, which is this Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And under Admin Centers, you're going to find the Exchange. So let's click here and then you will see this Exchange Admin Center. And upon sign in, you will encounter the Exchange Admin Center intuitive dashboard that you are currently experiencing and that is designed to align with the overall Microsoft 365 admin experience and on the left hand navigation pane categorize various administrative area allowing for streamlined management of your organization's email infrastructure so we are going to explore and discuss each option one by one so each serving you know a specific administrative function and the dashboard provides a personalized overview of your organizational email environment including quick access to common tasks and insight so when you click to the dashboard it gives you the insights and a quick review of what's going on within your exchange environment so here you can see there are a few cards available and you can adjust and customize these cards by clicking here on add card and currently you can see six are available and all are related to your exchange environment so you can customize these card to make your dashboard more friendly according to your environment like the training and guides the mail flow because each of these options are available on the left but you know we prepare and we decorate the dashboard the sort of way where when we just take a look and just have a glance on the dashboard so we get some information that is necessary and that required continuous monitoring so this is all about the dashboard and then you have other option that is the recipient and if you expand the recipients so you will see further options like the mailbox and in this section you can manage all aspects related to your mailbox including the user mailbox shared mailbox resources contacts and groups which you can see here so if you select the mailbox to expand its its option and here you can see you have other options as well like add a shared mailbox you can use the resource section to manage resource mailbox like rooms and equipment which you can see here that you can add a room resource and also you can add an equipment resource and in the same way if you go to the contact so here you can manage the mail contact in the same way if you choose group so here you can manage distribution groups and Microsoft 365 groups all here in this group section here you also have the distribution list in the dynamic distribution list all are available in the form of tab then you have the mail flow and the mail flow section allows you to define how emails you know are processed within your organization and that including setting up rules messaging and managing except domains configuring remote domains and establishing connectors and here if you click on the rule section so you can see and we have pretty much explored this rule section in previous introduction that is related to the exchange online but this specific video is all about the description and the discussion over the exchange admin center so in short that this rule section enables you to create and manage mail flow rules which are quote unquote called the transport rules and definitely you know we are going to explore each of these options in different separate videos with different scenarios that would 
would be more helpful to you to understand how these things work but currently we are just giving you the overview of the admin exchange center then you have the accepted domains here you can manage the domains of your organization except email for and that is you know understandable as it name suggests then you have the remote domains and it used to configure settings for emails sent to a specific domain so this is mostly related to the outgoing domains and the accepted domains are like the inbound domains that are you you want to manage and you want to configure some sort of rules and restriction for your organization to accept email for then you have the connectors so if you select the connector to set up connector for mail flow between exchange and other email system and that required in the video because like i said that each of these options required specific scenarios and videos to make it more easier to understand and digest so in this way these you know mailbox options enables exchange environment to work more dynamically and more efficiently and it also depends on how you configuring these rules according to the requirement then you have the rule section and if you talk about in general so if you click on the rules it helps you to manage the administrative rules and permission and in this section you can assign and manage administrative rules control access and permissions within the exchange environment and all these rules and once you you know manage and create different rules so all these rules are specifically related to the exchange environment because there are different rules option available on the admin.maxsoft.com some are available on the azure so some are available on the intune but these rules that we are talking and showing you right now are specifically related to the exchange environment so whenever you assign any rule in the exchange admin center that does not affect the all over azure or the intune or the Microsoft 365 rules so in this way after the roles you have this migration section that facilitates the migration of mill boxes in batches and letting for efficient onboarding and offboarding processes and here you can add migration badge by clicking here and you know that requires some sort of process and steps to explain it in more detail and then the report came and this report you know required to access various report related to the mail flow migration usage auditing so it contain the the logs and reporting of all such events because once you create the mail flow rules that definitely generate logs and reports that when you need to access these reports you need to come here and you know it provides some statistics the usage audit logs and helping you to monitor and analyze your organization's email activities and in the same way you have the insight section that offers recommendation to discover trends and take action to address issues related to the mailbox and mail flow and currently it says that you are up to date with your insights there are either no insight related issues or they have been resolved so, so that's good but this specific section offers recommendations so we definitely go to the insights whenever we want to manage things and make things more trendy and we need to fix some sort of you know customization that we have done and that is you know in the result creating some mess in your exchange environment so we need to check out this insight that what this exchange center demanding from us and then you have the organization sections that allows you to configure settings that apply across your organization including sharing policies and outlook apps so if you click to the sharing so here you can add organization relationship and you can here if you switch to the tabs to the individual sharing 
Here you can add the individual sharing policy. You have to define that policy. And you know, there are some more depth that we will definitely discuss in a separate video regarding the organization part of the Exchange Admin Center. Then you have the public folder, and here you can create and manage public folders and their corresponding mailboxes to facilitate shared access to emails and documentations. And here you have the public folder mailboxes. Here you have the public folders. You can all manage from here. Then you have the mobile section. And this section enables you to manage mobile device access and policies, ensuring secure synchronization of emails, contacts, and calendars on mobile devices. So here you can see that there are some sort of rules like quarantine devices which is currently not available then the device access rule and definitely you're going to add a device rule here and set up the motto when mobile device of the selected family or model try to connect allow access block access or quarantine so whatever the decision and parameters you you are setting up here that will affect this quarantine device section and then when these sort of devices tries to connect and just doing the mail processing, they will be blocked or accessed. And once they are in the quarantine sections, you will find all these devices here under this quarantine mode. So, you know, the Microsoft 365 Admin Centers allows you to manage broader Microsoft 365 services beyond Exchange that we have previously explored in different videos. But in this video, we have navigated through the Exchange Admin Center and explored each section of the left-hand menu to understand its functionalities. Familiarities with these options empowers administrators to manage their you know, organization exchange environment.